Hey guys, what's going on? Red here from Red by HD. Today we're going to be getting an in-depth look into Paranoid Android running on the Nexus 4. Paranoid Android has a lot of really cool features, but before we get into that, let me just show you what's on my system. So going into settings, about phone, so I'm running the May 14th build and Franco Kernel M2. In Hybrid Engine, firstly we have Paranoid Android Colors. If you apply this setting, preset colors will be applied to a few apps. Now moving on, we have Stock UI which is the Nexus 4 mode, Fablet UI which is the Nexus 7 mode, or Tablet UI, which is the Nexus 10 mode. So basically what this does is all apps will run based on the UI you have set selected. Now there are three modes in Tablet UI, 192 dpi per 1000 pixels, 220 dpi per 1000 pixels and 250 dpi per 1000 pixels. Now let's head into interface settings. Here you can change your workspace settings, that is your layout, your size and your navbar width. Also you can do global coloring, that is you can change the navbar color, the status bar color, etc. Let's see some individual app settings now. Basically what this is, is that you can set the color settings for each individual app, how you would like it. You have changed apps and unchanged apps. Changed apps are what you have changed or what has been changed by the preset for you. Let me just show you with Viber here. So you can change the layout and the size for the app. And then you can change the colors of the nav bar, the status bar, etc. Under tools, you get the option to backup and restore your preferences and also a few other options. Let me just show you hybrid settings in action. So we're at Facebook here. As you can see, the nav bar and the status bar are colored a blue. Now you can head into quick settings panel and change the values for each app using that button there. It pops this up in every app. You can change the size layout or the color. So you have options and the nav bar color, nav, it's all changeable within the app. So do that quickly and fast. So Halo, the latest innovation by Paranoid Android. I am running the Alpha 5 build and to enable Halo, just pull down the notification bar and hit that button there. You'll see that small pop-up, the Halo pop-up. Now, basically this is multitasking. Let me just head into settings and show you. We have two settings for Halo here under the toolbar settings. So you can have the option to hide Halo after activity. So basically what this does is if you have not clicked on Halo for a specific period of time. It will first go like, go like that and it should hide itself right about now. Yeah, like that. So you can disable that. The other is to reverse Halo gestures. Let me get into that in a minute. Now with Halo Alpha 5, they've launched an app, the Halo app. Here you can select apps that you want to be shown in Halo. This is true multitasking at its best. So let me just demonstrate by going into Gmail here. So I'm in Gmail now. I'll open up Chrome for now. And there I have Chrome and I'm running in Gmail. Now you can switch between notifications by pressing and swiping down or to the side. So that's WhatsApp there and Viber here. So Halo also ticks for every notification that you get. It's really smooth, really nice. It's true multitasking. It's, it's awesome innovation basically. Uh, to dismiss Halo, you just have to drag it and there's a small X which pops up and you leave it there. Pi controls. Paranoid Android was one of the first ROMs to have Pi baked into it. Now you can enable or disable Pi using the quick settings toggle. When you swipe up and access Pi, you get basic information like the time, battery, info, network, etc. Swipe right from there and you head into notification drawer. Swipe left and you head into the quick settings panel. What Pi does is it lets you take advantage of the whole screen. 
it also colors itself based on the global or individual app color settings let me show you with facebook here so it as you can see pi is colored blue and white right now i'll show you better with another app let's see what app how about youtube yeah in youtube the colors are black and red so as you can see pi is also colored black and red now there is another way to enable or disable pi that's using expanded desktop you can access it from the power menu so full screen pi setting is off now let me show you some pi settings they are actually it's under toolbars pi controls you have quite a few pi settings here you can select which area to trigger it from what the pi gravity is also you can select the pi size the pi style and the item gap so size here and item gap which is gap between each part of pi like most roms out there you have the option to theme your rom you can get themes from the play store or anywhere else so that was our in-depth look into paranoid android 3.5 even though it's an alpha this rom is really stable halo hybrid engine and pi combined together to make this a really feature filled rom it's a must have if you own a supported device also we'll have all the relevant links and the download links for the wallpapers that were used in this video in the description down below the like button if you like the video give us a thumbs up let us know in the comments if you want us to do any other videos subscribe for more videos like this that's it for today guys keep flashing